Good morning, baby church. Welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm Teta Angel. Now let's put our hands together and let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this morning. I ask for your presence to be with us in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Now let's go for worship. He was still singing the songs and I hope you like the two songs that we chose for you. So go for worship and we'll see you in a while. We are in a series of Christmas. Our team is a guest at our table. So let's read our Bible verse from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And it says, For to us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. So let's continue our story from what we have stopped last week. So last week, we know that Joseph and Mary, Jesus was born in a manger, okay, in a stable area in Bethlehem. So what happened after that? On the very same night, a field near Bethlehem, there were shepherds watching over their flocks, okay? And suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared brightly before them, shining up the field with the glory of God and made the shepherds terrified. But the angels reassured them, saying, Don't be afraid, for I have come to bring you good news, the most joyous news the world has ever heard, for it is everyone and everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, a Saviour is born for you. He is the Lord Yahweh, the Messiah. You will recognize him by this miracle sign. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and laying in a manger. Then the group of glorious angels appear, the armies of heaven, and they all praise God, singing glory in the highest realms of heaven, for there is peace and a good hope to the sons of them. When the angel left, and the shepherds said to one another, let's go and let's hurry to find this child that is born in Bethlehem and see for ourselves what the Lord has revealed to us. So they ran into the village and found their way to Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby in the manger. After their visitation to Jesus, the shepherds went around telling others this miraculous sign. Mary treasured all these things in her heart and often wondered what they meant. The shepherds were delighted over what had happened. They praised God and glorified God for all they had heard and seen for themselves, just like what the angel has said. It's activity time. So today we're going to make baby Jesus. So you need brown paper that I want you to cut into strips. You can use any brown paper. If you don't have brown paper, you can use uh, newspaper or magazines or you can even take just white paper and color it brown. Okay. And then we need a marker pen. We need kitchen towel this size or a bit smaller if you want to. And we need scissors, we need glue and we need Ice cream steaks. Okay, I've cut my ice cream steaks into half because this is the only, that's the size I want, okay? So what we need to do is, we take this ice cream steak and we take the kitchen towel. It's too big, so let's tear it into smaller pieces. I think this size is enough. Yep, it's good. So what we're going to do, we're going to wrap this steak with the kitchen towel. So it's like what the, what the angel says, that Jesus is wrapped. Okay, wrap around. So we take the kitchen towel, we wrap it across and across like this. Okay, and then you just keep twirling it and moving it up and you twirl it some more and some more all the way. And then you have this loose piece here. I want you to just glue it. Okay, 
Just glue it. It's very, very simple craft for today, okay? Then we're just going to do baby Jesus. Simple as that. And you have done. There you go. And what we're going to do, we're going to draw Jesus' face, okay? So we're going to draw some eye. And because Jesus is sleeping, so we close his eyes, all right? So just draw a curve down, a curve down, his nose, and a big smiley face. Just like that. Got it? And what we're going to do next is Jesus lays in a manger. So I have this at home. This is like a cup holder, okay? A carton cup holder that I recycled from buying drinks. So I got this cup holder. This is going to be my manger, okay? And with the brown paper strip that I have, I'm just going to fold it, crush it to make it look like hay. I'm just lay it around it, around the manger, inside to the cup holder, okay? I have extra here. So then it goes fizzy up and fizzles up and fizzes up. Ta-da! And that's your manger with the hay. And with baby Jesus, that I colored some rosy cheeks for him, I'm going to lay him down just like this. And that is your activity for this week. Now it's action time. Remember last week we do some actions? Let's do it again and I'll see how many you can remember, okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Clap your hands. Give a shout. Hooray! We know what Christmas is all about. It's about you, it's about me. Long ago, far away, a baby boy was born this day. Mary wrapped him and laid him down in a manger in Bethlehem town. Baby Jesus fast asleep in a room of cow and sheep. The angels sang, the shepherds heard. They hurried to the stable, to they spread the word. Baby Jesus, a child for us. His name was called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He is Emmanuel, God with us. Happy birthday, Jesus, and happy Christmas Day. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you remember the action and also I hope you'll be able to do Baby Jesus Craft. So now let's close with a word of prayer. But in heaven, I thank you for this morning and ask for your blessings to be with us. And I thank you, Jesus, for you have shown us how the angels have spoke to the shepherds. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen. So I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.